Okay, in this tutorial, I'll show you another way that I go about generating shards if I want to create shattering effects. And sometimes I'll use the just the explode modifier and let it break it up for me and add the solidifier modifier as I've shown in other lessons. But other times, I want to use you know my own kind of shapes. They're a little more random, so I might use shapes that look like this. And you can use this for the terrain of a surface or something. So. I'll just start it from scratch and kind of give you an idea. I'll you can move my cursor to the center here. And I'll just add a sphere to the scene. I'll scale it up a little bit like that. That'll be my basic sphere. And then I'll go into edit mode, press W, I'll press subdivide. And it gives me this funky shape. That's because I've already been working with it. So if I press F6, it brings up the fractal tool. You can see I have the fractal cut set way up, so I'll cut them down. See, it, this, it can be really accentuated like that. And I'll leave it at one cut, because if you see, this cranks way up pretty fast. Starts adding a lot of memory. So one is one works pretty good. All right, so I'll leave it like that. So there's my basic surface that I have in here. So I'll move my cursor to the selected object. And then I'll add another sphere to the scene. And I'll just scale that up till it kind of just starts breaking through like that. All right, so now I have two spheres. This one, I'll give this a color so I can see it relative to that one there. Okay, so once you have that in there, then it's just a matter of using your Boolean modifiers. You come up here to which one, sphere.01 is selected. So coming up to the modifier, Boolean, I want to use in one, I could either use a difference or an intersection. Let's use the difference, in this case, sphere, and I'll apply it. Okay, so then when I do that, in this case, I end up with this object that has all these kind of funky things on it, like that. So it's pretty cool. It kind of creates its own little terrain surface. Or you could do it the other way around. I could control Z that. What I have sphere selected, sphere.01 is selected. So in this case, I'll select sphere and I'll go the other direction and I'll do the Boolean modifier and I'll also use the difference and I'll do sphere.01 this time and I'll apply that. And then when I move it out of the way, then I just have the individual pieces like this. So I'll get rid of this for now. So with the individual pieces, then as long as they're not, you know, connected to each other, then you can always just go in and separate them. So I'll go into edit mode and with everything selected, and I'll just press P, and I'll separate by loose parts. And let's see how many, and I'll leave edit mode, and I'll go down here to object transform my origin to the geometry. And though it, there it did, it made all these individual pieces like that. So I'll bring up my tool shelf, and I'll make those active. So now they're all rigid body objects. I'll just bring them up into the scene like this and turn this into a passive object like that and I'll press Alt A. And there we go. So now you have your own shards that are different shaped, you know, than what the system normally is creating on its own. Maybe that's the way it goes about doing its own shards, I'm not sure. But that's certainly one way. So then of course you could let's see come back in here. Let me just so it's like this and before I actually separate it out that's where you could actually come in and add your solidify modifier to this first can you can you uh, no it's trying to do it separately that's very strange no why is it doing that oh they must be already separated out okay I have to control Z back again some more there they're not separated there I don't think solidify yeah there we go now they're solid like that then I would apply it here in this case then go into edit mode and press P and separate by loose parts and then leave edit mode and transform origin to the geometry and then add active All right and then move them up in the scene like that go get this guy make that passive We'll go full screen, get rid of the tool shelf, and let's see. 
Yeah, and then you see that's they're interacting with each other. So they they weren't all completely apart, but that's way. But it kind of gives you a pretty good idea. It gives you some pretty good effects. Yep, and they're solid. They're all kinds of shapes and sizes. So every little bit helps, you know. And you know, okay. Well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.